Yes guys, welcome back down to the channel. Andy Carter here and welcome to an on-course video. Now I'm going to try a new little format out here for filming, so hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, please just jump in the description and go and say, yes, I approve. If you don't, then say, Carter, that was crap. Okay, but you know what? We're always trying new things. So I'm gonna make my way out to one of the holes here on the Earth Course. Golf courses are absolutely packed at the moment. So it's very, very difficult to get a tee time and just even find a space on the course. And we've got 36 golf holes here as well. So I'm gonna find my way out onto the golf course. We're gonna film an irons only off the back tees. Just because that kind of feels like a good idea. Now I'm gonna regret it the me immediately after I tee off because eight and nine here at the Earth Course are massive like nearly 500 yards off the back tee so i'm basically going to play bogey golf so if you if you've come in for some bogeys you're in the right place <laughs> Okay, so made it out onto the eighth hole, 461 yard, par four, dog leg to come. Okay, the longest club I'm gonna use today is a two iron. So I've given myself a little bit of a let off. It's not this typical iron set, but I need a bit of help. 460 yards, ninth hole, 499 yards. I need this help. Right, there's nothing like starting a vlog with low expectations. So all we can do is surprise ourselves. Yes, yeah, good start. I've got 220 yards to go. I need a good three iron, but I don't have one. I've got a two or a four. So we're gonna go in with the four iron. We're gonna sling it. No banner, that was purer than pure. 220 yards, four iron. I'm going over this hill now, praying that my golf ball is going to be on the green because I couldn't see it. It looked like a great line. It's far too sunny. We'll have to see when we get there. But that was good. That was great. I wouldn't change anything about that shot. Made me happy inside. Okay, so right now I've got no idea where it is. I'm going to have to do a full lap of the green because it's not on the green. It was a very well hit four iron. But well, it does feel like a little bit downwind. So, yeah. BRB. Oh, there it is. Oh, not a bad line as well from the angle I came on. That must have gone straight over the top of the flag. But, I'm chipping. Right, I have to go high. Little flop shot. Land it short of the flag, way short of the flag. Probably into the semi rough still. Right. Oh, that's pure. This could be the best golfer ever. That was amazing. Managed to flop it, land it just next to this sprinkler, just past the sprinkler, so that's a bit of a lie. And there she is. Chance of par. What a par. Two iron, four iron, flop shot, put. Can't write it. Right guys, so I'm actually filming this after four holes, so this is not quite keeping in context with the video right now, but just to let you know, I've been filming this in the wrong format all the way through. So if you feel like you've been watching it through a fisheye lens, it's because you has. But I feel like it's a decent vlog, so stick with it. The last hole I actually fix here. Right, here we are, 499 yards. This is about to get even tougher. More than likely going to require two two irons and a chip. However, that's not going to help, is it? That's better. It's a little bit downwind off the left hand side, so you never know, you know? 202, if I can get this one away, about 260, unlikely. And then a 240 approach, probably hold the putt for birdie. Right, this is almost going to sound like a lie, and I promise it's not. I've 
got 240 in, which basically means I just hit the last tee shot 260, which basically means I can now call my shots and hit them. Nah, surely not, that's just a fluke. Ripped that two iron off the tee. I've got a two iron left though, 240 uphill, slightly downwind again, but I'm still gonna need to get all of it. Obviously I've got no tee now, so the strike's not gonna be quite as clean. Uh, but it will come out a little bit lower, so maybe we'll get a little bit of run. However, this green is nicely, if you want to call it nice, surrounded by bunkers. So, yeah, two iron. On we go. Oh, green side bunker. Damn it. Just spun out of it. In fact, right of the green side bunker. Just kind of just it's got a bit there, didn't that impact? Now, based on where that flag is, once again I've short sided myself in the worst possible position. To be honest with you, absolutely gutted with that second shot after an amazing, what? Call it amazing, really, really good t shot. Now, as I'm oh, actually, I've got a decent little path to the flag there. Um, as I'm walking to the ball, I want to have a little chat. I am going to be heading out to the Saudi International European Tour event in well a week from now as i'm filming this so drop in the comments below what kind of content would you like to see filmed now it's my first time going out to an actual european tour event to film i will have access to players i'm going to get as i'm going to use my contacts as much as i possibly can mr pete cowan he is answering the phone we are talking i'm trying to maybe get a few of his players on so what content would you like to see filmed they're going to have the likes of mickelson bryson so there's a lot of potential now there's no promises there's no guarantees but i'm going to try my absolute best so what content would you like to see from a european tour event in saudi drop in the comments below let me know right now i have actually got i mean this is probably the easiest possible chip i could have had right so i thought i was behind the bunker having to chip over so i got my yardage right anyway got a lob wedge in hand here we go Oh, you're kidding me. Gutted with that. It's literally hit right on the fringe there, where kind of fringe meets green and just rolled. Rolled down the hill, got that for par. Massive overread. Oddly enough, that feels quite upsetting. 499 yard par four with no driver, just an iron or two irons. And I feel upset that I've not made par because I've set myself into a really good position there. Got a little bit unfortunate with the chip and massively overread the pot. It's a weird one because I'm kind of looking forward to the 10th hole. There's a bit of a let up compared to the eight and nine, but it's 437 yards. Wind's off the right, it's not even helping. So it's not exactly an easy hole, is it? Good job I'm on it. Perfect. This is putting some serious pressure on the ball striking. So far, so good. Right, 175 in, wind into and off the right hand side. So normally for me, that's like a good punch, like a good seven iron. Today I'm feeling like I'm visualizing that kind of punchy, punchy five iron shot. I don't feel like, I feel like the six iron might just rise up into the wind and not quite make it. So I'm actually gonna put a five iron towards the middle of my stance. I'm gonna keep my hands ahead of the ball, I'm gonna get my hips ahead of the ball, I'm gonna keep my head over the ball. I'm just gonna try and get a nice flighted, kind of strong, powerful. Oh, I might have just flipped that over on the hands. I felt the hands really whip through the ball there. I saw a bounce, so I missed the green left. I got the flight. I just felt the hands just beat the lower body to the ball. So my lower body stayed a bit too static. I just felt my hands flip on it. Tough, tough bogey to take. Potentially could have held the par putt, obviously. I just got a group behind me, so I thought I'd just kind of get out of the way. It's realistically going to be a two putt from a uphill right to left downhill at the end style putt. So, unfortunate really. I think I think the six iron was the right club for the second shot. Shouldn't have hit the five. But the idea was okay. Execution was not right. I'm going to play two more holes. Oh, 
Right, 158, we've got a right good look at this flag now from here. I've got 99 in hand, the flag is just down a little ridge, so if I land it just short, it'll just take that ridge and it's gonna go really close and I'm gonna get myself back to one over pop. How about thin fade? That could be amazing. Like a thin fade is my new shot. Is there anything more unsatisfying than a horrible strike? Right. <laughs> Poor shots offer no satisfaction in the feel, but they do sometimes on the outcome. I'd almost feel guilty if I held this. I feel like it took a little bit of a bit of a bobble on me. Right, last hole, twelfth hole on the earth course, 450 yards. It's gonna be into wind, it's gonna be uphill and it's gonna be an absolute brute. Oh, pushed it. Well, I can't reach anything anyway. 237 yards left in. Problem is, I'm not on grass. I am just... Over there. And yeah, I'm gonna try and hit two iron off that. Alright, to be fair. Managed to go up to the green side bunker. Happy with that. Alright, so the last pitch shot we're faced with going up and over the bunker. And it's a bit of a bit of a hill to the flag there. It's not too bad actually. Got a bit of green to work with, which is always a little bonus on this golf course. Greens are very slick. If I go too far past it, I will catch the slope and go miles away. So that's my shot coming up. Little 58 degree pitch shot. Should be a drop and stop job though, good lie. Popped up nice. Better stop pretty quick as well. I'm gonna say about six foot. Not bad at all, I'm quite happy with that. Right, up we go, last hole. What a par this would be, to be honest. What a par this would be. Porsche tee shot, first bad tee shot really of the round. Decent recovery, good third. Let's see if we can get it in. I missed it. Ah, oh, that was more grain. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like it's bobbling. It's not really bobbling. It's just kind of hitting the grain as it's as it's taking its roll. So it's got a little bit of right to left break. The grain was also right to left, so it's kind of bouncing it a little bit more to the left as well. Right, a little bit disappointing overall. Three over par for the. I played five holes there, so a little bit disappointed with the score, but I feel like I played quite well. Purpose of this vlog is ball striking. Test yourself. I would never play those club selections off the tee and leave myself with such a long second shot, but what it is doing is making me, making me think, making me position my tee shot a little bit more, making me put a bit more pressure on the quality of strike off the tee, puts a lot of pressure on the quality of the strike for the second shot, and then it obviously puts a little bit of pressure on your short game as well as if you do miss the green with a longer iron, which is what we generally expect to do, you've got to put a bit of pressure on your short game as well. So it's a great little test. Go and try it out. You don't have to go to the very back championship tees. You can play from your normal tees that you normally play from and just don't use the woods just really focus on practicing with the irons and getting the ball striking with the irons but guys if you have enjoyed the content please do like the video please do subscribe to the channel thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all very soon